Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on July the 25th, 2016. The title of the message is, Pray Before the Prodigal Dies. And the Lord Jesus began, My children, do not despair when you see the wicked prosper. It is indeed the time for evil to overtake the earth. This will be completed when my bride, the restrainer, is taken out of the way. For now, she holds evil at bay, because the one in her is greater than the one in the world, and I have promised to rescue her from the worst of the coming darkness. Yes, it seems all the plans of the wicked are coming to pass, without any opposition. Some of this is a fulfillment of prophecy. Remember my word that says, Perilous times will reign on earth in the end times, but some of this is preventable or at least can be pushed back, if my children will get on their knees and pray. It seems many of my children have forgotten that prayer is power, and prayer changes circumstances and situations. Just because it looks like evil is ruling the world, does not mean you give up on prayer. Did the wicked ones give up on prayer and fasting? No, they prayed five times a day, and fasted once a year, for years, and now their master is ready to erupt upon the earth and overcome it with much violence and bloodshed. If the prayers of the wicked ones can be answered by their master, to the point where they will cover the earth like a plague, in darkness and wickedness, how much more will I, the Lord God Almighty, Jesus, answer the prayers of my children? I am light, and it does not matter how deep and dark the darkness is, even a darkness that can be felt, cannot overcome the light of a little candle. I am here waiting to answer your prayers, but if you withhold them, then you will continue to live among the dead, who will cause your soul to despair, because of the sin they are spreading everywhere they go. My children, prayer changes situations and circumstances. Through prayer, kingdoms have been brought down, case in point, the Nazis, during the reign of Hitler. With prayer, kingdoms have prospered, Case in point, the United States of America. Prayer will exalt the rushes and bring the wicked down low into the depths of Sheol. I am here, my children. I am not deaf and I am not dead. I am waiting to answer your prayers. Prayers have turned back hurricanes, put out forest fires, withstood the destroying locusts, and caused volcanoes to go silent for centuries. Come, pray, and do not be religious or babble senselessly. Be led by my Holy Spirit. Let him guide you to me. Let him pray through you, for you do not always know what to pray for, but he does. You must make yourself available to him. He is moving to and fro, searching for those who are willing to pray. Come apart, my children, and pray. The destiny of the unsaved, especially among your family members, depends on the calluses on your knees. Come, I am always near to those who draw near to me in prayer. Pray, my children, some of the wickedness brewing in your midst will be averted through prayer. Lost souls, dead souls, confused souls need your prayers to lead them to me. I have millions of angels waiting idly because only very few will pray. Pray, and I will command my angels to go forth and minister for your sake. Send them to minister in my name and per my word. They are waiting for you to speak in faith, and they will fly swiftly to do your bidding according to my will. Therefore, pray according to my will. Believe me, those who pray fervently for their lost loved ones will not be disappointed. I will save some and immediately take them home. I will prepare some to be raptured with you, and those who remain stiff-necked will have to go through the tribulation period but their lives will not be lost. They will make it home at the end of the executioner's sword. Pray, 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 pray until you cannot utter any more words with your lips and your spirit takes over within you. Do not give me any rest until all your desire for your loved ones is accomplished. Beloved, if you do not pray for them, who will? Minister to them in word, by prayer and fasting. I will honor your prayers, my beloved. I will honor your prayers. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.